Eraser Tools in Photoshop. You can find the Eraser Tool in Photoshop under this. You can right click and click on the Eraser Tool to activate it. The purpose of Eraser Tool is to erase a, a pixel and it will remove that from the background. Eraser Tool changes pixels to the background color or makes them transparent let's say we have a we brush we made make some brush here and we want to erase that and you can use the eraser tool right click and eraser tool you can resize this right click to resize or press the closing bracket and and the opening bracket so you can erase this way can change this uh, eraser tool into soft brush also you can reduce the opacity to make it more transparent and the flow let's say how many percentage you want the eraser to be functioned let's say we have a different kind of colors here so you are going to brush on this solid color right click brush on this pure 100% and we are going to use the eraser tool it, as you can see if the flow is lower the, it will create this kind of 80% once you uh, erase this it will erase 80% uh, with say here 80% and once you add more it will add more or erase more 80% of the from the canvas or from the artboard so you can use the eraser with these controls a soften and the type of brush we are using the brush tool of erase so you can do this way also you can choose a different kind of erase shape say for this you can choose this one so this is the eraser tool in photoshop Let's choose the other shape let's say you have an image in your workspace and you want to erase that I will drag this image and once you drag the image it will put there and once you check on this it will create a, um, a smart object of the image if you hover over over it with the use of eraser tool Make sure you click on this layer. You cannot erase this because it. you should convert that into rasterized image. As I click on that, it automatically convert it into rasterized. When I press Ctrl Z, you can convert that into rasterized. Right click and convert to rasterized layer. And that's the time you can erase that. Or say that you have some area that you want to erase. So you can do that way. Also, in text, if you have a text in your workspace, let's say I have a text here. Let me drag this with a color of, let's say, black. It's a text layer, but when I use the eraser tool, I cannot erase that. So I have to create that as a rasterized image or a rasterized layer in order for me to erase that. Since it's a text layer, once I erase on that, it will pop up this message and it will, con once I click uh, OK, it will rasterize the layer. So click OK and that's the time I can erase it. Once I turn off this layer, it will appear that second layer there. I can turn this off. So eraser tool works uh, layer by layer. Let's say I want to erase from this text layer, just this text. So I erase this part, but when, once I turn this off, let me zoom make this view. 
So I erase that text. Once I turn off this layer, the below layer will appear, which is not erase. So eraser tool works only on layer by layer. So you have to select the layer that you want to be erased or intended to be to erase something on that. Like for this, I'm going to erase this. So you have to do that way. Also, if the layer is locked, let's say you have a lock layer like this background, you cannot erase that. So I'm going to lock this sample image one. Click on this lock and it will lock that. And if I use the eraser tool and hover over it, I cannot erase that. So you have to unlock that by clicking, selecting the layer and clicking on this icon lock. And it will lock that and that's the time you can erase. So that's pretty much the eraser tool in Photoshop. I hope this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.